Suppose we are doing this for the first time. I wanted to derive a formula for the derivative of the inverse tangent x. But the only thing I know at the moment is I only know the derivative of the original tangent. So the strategy is let's make a connection between the original and the inverse. First, for any inverse trig functions, all this represents an angle, so that will be a good start. I will begin by saying something like let theta equals to the angle that I'm talking about, which is the inverse tangent x. And then if I begin by writing down this right here, theta is equal to inverse tangent x, my goal is to just find out what d theta dx is going to be. Right? That's the same question written in a different way. Once I have this equation, theta is equal to the inverse tangent x, I can apply the original tangent on both sides. So I'm going to apply the original tangent right here, and also the original tangent right here. And when we do that, the original and the inverse, they cancel each other out. And now I can look at this equation as the original tangent, theta, and that's equal to x. And as you can see, we can just deal with the original tangent now, and in this situation, theta is a function of x, and our goal is to find d theta dx. This equation is much better, because if now we take the derivative with respect to x, so let me put down d dx across the equation, I know what's the derivative of the original tangent, namely secant squared, and the input is theta, However, you have to be careful, you have to go, um, look inside because theta is a function of x. So we have to use a chain rule. We have to multiply by d theta dx. Okay? And this right here, it's exactly what we're trying to get in a minute. However, we still have equal and derivative, derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. And that's what we have. We can just isolate the d theta dx. We can divide both sides by secant squared theta. So here we can get d theta dx, which will be 1 over that. 1 over secant squared theta. However, the deal is this. If the original formula was written in terms of x, our answer should also be in terms of x. Here, it's a formula, but this is in terms of theta. So now we have to make more connections. Let's focus on this theta right here. And then, as we can see, from the beginning, we say that theta is equal to the inverse tangent x. So this expression is the same as saying 1 over secant squared. Let me replace theta with the inverse tangent x. Just like this. And then, the trick is, on the denominator, you can make this into an algebraic expression, and that's much better. And you can check out my other videos, but let me just tell you the answer. If you work this out, you can watch my other video for this. On the bottom, you are going to end up with 1 plus x squared, and you still have a 1 on the top. And there you have it. d theta dx is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. So in another word, the answer to my original Equation is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And let me box this. This is how you can derive the derivative of inverse tangent x. That's it.